Hello hoppers, today I am in the airport of La Coruña in northwest Spain and I have a flight to Frankfurt but the real Frankfurt not Frankfurt Hahn but because Ryanair canceled the flights uh, the winter flights from Santiago de Compostela to Frankfurt I have to transfer today in Madrid <laughs> check this chart and I look for my flight my flight is at 1215 uh, it's a flight to Madrid AEA which is Air Europe 7234 and I have to go to gate 3 so I still have 45 minutes until boarding so I'm just gonna hang out and have a coffee so yeah people get really nervous when they have to change planes when they have a layover in this case, you're going to see it's going to be really easy. It's going to be similar to um, the flight I took from Nice to Barcelona and then Barcelona to, I think it was like, I don't even remember my flights anymore. Whenever possible, take a direct flight because you avoid a lot of hassle. When the layover is really short, like maybe an hour, sometimes the suitcase stays behind. So you want to you know, avoid all those problems and hassles and you want it to be as stress-free as possible. But it, you know, you can't always do that. I don't have a direct flight from La Coruña to Frankfurt, so I have to like put up with it. <laughs> Did I just say 45 minutes? I meant 30 minutes. I had 30 minutes. I just had a really quick coffee, and now I'm going to my gate. Uh, I'm relaxing because I don't have to check anything in. I don't have to do anything. I just have a backpack, and I have to go through security, and this airport is really, really tiny. I think it has like four or five gates, <laughs> so it's really small. If this were a big airport, I would not relax. First of all, I would have been here two hours before, and uh, I would have gone straight through security, go through the whole thing, because uh, that takes a lot of time. Okay, so it has six gates. Now this isn't duty free, because we haven't passed security yet, so I don't know what this is. Okay, I was right, I just asked. This is not duty free, uh, but everything they sell here, will, you will be able to take through security, so no problem, okay? But it, this is not duty free, because duty free is always after you pass uh, the, the security. Okay, no cameras here. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. Up we go. So this one is duty free, okay? I wonder if the prices are different. I'm gonna compare. I bought an almond cake for someone and they don't have it here. They have a different one, so I can't compare prices. I never know about this duty free stuff. I'm not so sure. Okay, that's my flight. Our plane. So I have my boarding pass. Yes. So my seat is 6C. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a plane flight with air over ACCH airline, please listen carefully. For domestic European destinations, please proceed to the boarding gates D and E. Passengers sadly to London, Africa, Caribbean, South America, United States, please proceed to the gates A and B. The information screens in all the terminal buildings indicate number of the boarding gates. We inform you that the estimated transfer between terminals is 30 minutes. Please listen carefully. The back flight 4065 destination Valencia Gate D61 Europa 1671 destination Zurich Gate C45 Europa 1509 destination Frankfurt Gate C36 Europa 193 destination Bogotá Gate B24 <laughs> Adios. 
Okay, so we're in Madrid. We are in Terminal 3, Gate E67. Okay, boarding for my next flight starts at 2.15. Uh, I only have 45 minutes to get to my gate. I think the gate is going to be close, but you still have to go over there fast because you don't know what the distances are going to be like, so gotta go. But first, you have to know what gate you're going to. My boarding pass says I have to go to E82, but on the plane they said I had to go somewhere else. So you have to check here to see that what is on your boarding pass and what they said on the plane and what it says here is all the same, okay? But this is the final word right here. You have to check here because if there are any changes, that'll show up here. Okay, so there's our flight. It's the 15 hours. It's at three o'clock. Frankfurt UX 1509. And I have to go to gate C. 36 and boarding is at 1420 we are in e as an elephant and we have to go to c as in cat so i have to go to a different part of the airport so always always make sure on the screen because sometimes the gates change okay the boarding gates change so we have to go. So here it says it's going to take us 10 minutes to get to the C part of the airport. So let's go. Just follow the signs. So the last word is always what you see on the screen. Okay, whatever's changing will show up on the screen. Forget about your boarding pass. All right, let's go. And I'm going to check again just in case. I want to make sure I'm going to the right gate. So let's see, where is it? There it is, Frankfurt, up there. It's still C36. So section C is to the right and it's gonna take seven minutes. Let's go. So they make you walk through duty free so you buy stuff. <laughs> Okay, I just entered section C. Now I have to look for my gate. It should be this way. So I have to go, so I have to go to C36, so straight ahead. Still C36. Okay, so C36 is this way. Again through duty free. That's not it. So it's this way. C36. Okay, so we found it and you have to check the screen to make sure it's your flight. It says Frankfurt and the time and the flight number and everything is correct. So this is it. Oh, it's hot now. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it can be really stressful. You saw people running. It's because they don't have enough time to get to their gate I knew that it was gonna take me about half an hour with all the filming and everything It would take me half an hour to get here uh, But sometimes it takes longer because you have to change terminals or go to the other extreme of the airport And so you have to take that into account. I have no luggage So I know um, I won't have problems with my um, suitcase not getting on the plane because if the layover is very short, sometimes your suitcase doesn't have enough time to be transferred over to the next plane. Ah, so. so you saw, I didn't have to go through passport control, I didn't have to go through security because I'm traveling within the European Union. There are these like complicated rules about all that. Uh, I guess one day I'm gonna have to get into that. Actually, I'm not gonna explain it. I'll just show you guys how everything works. I'll be having some international flights later on in the year and then I'll show you how that works. The transferring, 
you know, from one plane to another. And going through security or customs and having to get your bag again and then checking it in again, that kind of stuff. It could get really complicated and you need lots of time. So on today's flight, the people with the seats in the back of the plane get to board first. So you fill in the back of the plane first and then the people in the front go next. I have row 11, so I have to wait. So have your boarding pass and ID ready. Good job. Okay, they're giving a hard time with the uh, suitcases because her um, wheels stick out. So, you know, be aware of all this, okay? So it's got to fit in there. And that thing there, where, where's my finger? There. Yes. Okay, I had no problems. <laughs> but a lot of people did. So make sure you, you your suitcase is the measurements that the airline says they have to be. So do that because you don't want any stress when you travel. So yeah, find this information ahead of time. That's my seat. have a bag to pick up you go to baggage claim if you want to go out like me I go to exit I have to catch a train though so let's see that guy. okay baggage claim exit If you want to get a bag, then you have to check your flight here, and then you'll know what belt to go to. I'm exiting. Don't buy a black bag! This way. Okay, Hopper, so I'm here in Frankfurt Airport. We made it! <laughs> You and I made it. So here we are. Now I actually have to get a train. I'm in Terminal 2. I have to go to Terminal 1 and get a train over there. So I think I'll do a video on it. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video real soon. If you like to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you real soon. Oh,